Hi, I'm Ariel Shogren and I'm a PhD student at the University of Notre Dame. Today, I'm going to show you a little snapshot of some of the exciting research happening at ND Leaf. Let's go! All right, I'll start out by introducing you to some of these little guys here. While these might look like a bunch of stones, there's actually an insect living inside. These are caddisfly larvae. And caddisflies are the closest relative to butterflies and moths, and they actually spin silk to make these cases or webs to catch their dinner. You can find them in most streams, you just have to know what to look for. Despite their small size, caddisflies are important inhabitants of stream ecosystems. They help process detrital material, serve as essential food for other insect predators and fish, and they're a great indicator of stream health. Now that you know how cool caddisflies are, let's talk about some things that can hurt them. In Indiana, about 90% of the corn grown is genetically modified to have insecticidal properties. That is, to kill the European corn borer, which is a lepidopteran species that kills corn. The plants exude a protein called Cryone B that's specific to the guts of these insects, effectively killing them from the inside out. Recent studies have found that these proteins can have unintended consequences for our cute little caddisflies. While the proteins aren't bad for humans, caddisflies get caught in the crossfire between farmers trying to protect their crops and the targeted insects themselves. The Cryone B protein rapidly leaches from corn material that's left on fields or that ends up in agricultural stream ditches. It's not well understood how these cry proteins might move when the environment is complex. The idea behind this work is to understand how cryone B proteins might move throughout an entire complex river network. We're using the unique streams at LEAF to better understand how stream conditions affect the detectability and bioavailability of these proteins, so that we can better acknowledge how environmental proteins interact with and are transported beyond intended boundaries. We release these proteins into the streams to monitor where they go and how far they might travel. The coolest part about LEAF is that we can alter the environmental conditions that we're interested in, such as the substrate lining the stream bottom, and we can also test how biofilm accumulation, like this paraphyton here, affects how things move in these streams. Understanding and monitoring the dispersal of genetically engineered organisms and their byproducts is a critical component of the safe and responsible use of this technology in the environment. Ultimately, we want to identify and mitigate any unintended effects to non-target organisms.